Good morning and welcome to Desert Cottage Garden here at Desert Sage. No, Desert Rose and Sage, that's what I meant. <laughs> Too many deserts in there. Um, it's June, the very last day of June, 2023. And I have not given you a tour of the front garden that I call the Desert Cottage Garden. Mainly because I've been neglecting it. I've been watering it. But because I've been working so hard on the secret garden and then the back gardens, I haven't gotten much done out front. The pear tree out here looks fabulous, but no pears, which is strange because the tree in the back has pears, but it isn't as full. Um, but this is an older tree. This one's a year older than the tree out back. I planted a peach tree out front because I felt like the dogs couldn't attack it here and it will give us some nice shade. This is really hot over here. So my whole goal in doing everything is like how much shade can I get on things. This piece here where the, the all that uh, reed is, is going to be changed out next month, I'm hoping. I have an idea to change the privacy fence to a different one. I mean, privacy screen, not fence. Um, but I don't know if it's gonna work, so we'll just see. Clearly, we have lots of happy, happy bees in here getting some organic food, which makes me super happy. I've got some other little tiny bugs flying around in here too. But bees are the integral part of us getting food. Whether you keep bees or not, I do not. I just feed them. <laughs> and it makes a difference. So let's see. Oh, the desert willow tree. Look at that. And I know I've said this before, but a desert willow tree is not actually a willow. It just, because it droops with these big um, seed pods makes it look a little willow like and this tree is now six or seven years old I think it's as tall as it will get um, that's about the height I wanted and I think that's about as tall as that tree will become so I'm really happy with it, it gives a nice shade and I like it clear underneath and you can see where the Lavender are, I had to cut these back pretty severely because they were getting too wet in the middle, so they had to get cut back. This one needs to be trimmed back. I just need to harvest that lovely lavender. <clears throat> the plum trees, I don't know. That's the plum tree is back here. It's getting pretty thick out here, isn't it? <laughs> I should do a video of before. It was really, really barren. Um, this tree is looking really healthy, no plums at all, and this is the fourth year it's in, so I'm not sure what that means. I think it might mean I need to trim back more of the branches in the middle of it this winter, but we'll see. It's healthy, and that's the important thing, but my husband, he really would like a plum, so <laughs> I'm hoping I can figure out how to make this thing. It's had a plum, one plum one year and then these are the pampas grass ones I'm kind of going through this in a weird way I don't usually go through like this but why not more pampas grass we do love the pampas grass another gorgeous rose out here oh isn't that pretty um and I cannot read my little sign that tells me what kind but it does bloom really well this is a bush not a climber. Another plum tree, and look, there is one very sad plum, <laughs> but at least there's one. It also got some white uh, mildew on it this year. I cut it back right away, and it, it is okay. It never came back. The white mildew never came back. We had a lot of rain early in the season and I think that's possibly what happened. I don't know. Um, 
but it looks real healthy now, so I think it'll be all right. <clears throat> the <laughs> this Leland cypress tree wants to bend over. I do not know why. It's got it's perfectly healthy. It's got plenty of water. It just tipped. Uh, you know, things happen. The blue juniper tree looks really good, and this rosemary bush is out of control. It's got to get really cut back. I'm also going to do some changes here soon, but let's look at this rose. Is It got unhealthy. It just wasn't getting enough water. I neglected it. So it's looking really good, and this one is looking better, and that one is still in bad shape back there, but it is doing a little better. The Russian sage obviously is really good. I moved a bench over here. I took out the fountain that was there. I'm planning on putting a different one in. I want to take all this gravel out. It's actually hard to walk on. And if you've heard me talk about it before, I've got a bad foot. So anything that like tips is not good. So I want to rake all this gravel out of here and make a smooth pathway there. But I like my little seating areas out here. It's really nice. And everything's growing really nice and it has made it quite private. I'm really happy with the whitewash that I've done on the house. That wall, I know I talked about it before, but when it was just brick, you actually could not touch that wall without getting burned. And the heat would just hit you as you walk past it, like you were in a brick oven. Um, and now there's nothing, it's cool to the touch. It's amazing how just making it whitewash, which I didn't paint it because I want the brick to still be able to breathe. A lot of people paint their brick and that's fine, but I was nervous about doing something that permanent. The whitewash will wear down over time. It's actually held up quite well, I think, but we don't have a lot of rain here, so that could be why, I don't know. Um, because I think this is the third year and they say you should re do it every five years or so. I am planning on changing the color of the trim and it's going to be really pretty. So anyway, I'm working on getting to start working here. And then over here, this is just ugly over here. Um, I like my wood piles wood pile holders. I've got to kind of freshen them up and then over there where there's piles of stuff, I'm going to try to build a little thing that hides our trash cans because it sure is ugly and it's such a pretty front yard. Why ruin it with some ugly, huh? Anyway, so there you go. That's the tour for the desert cottage garden. And look at all those little bees just flying around. They're just so happy. Have a beautiful day out there. Don't forget, be gentle with yourselves. There's only one you. Bye.